it's been a pretty crazy time for smartphones and some of them uh, that we were really looking forward to actually having here in the States actually don't make it here or are at the very least delayed. But right now we're taking a look at one particular phone that just simply did not make it to the US shores, mainly because of some, let's say, current events that are happening right now which is a bit of a bummer because the Honor 20 is actually a very solid device that could have provided some pretty awesome features to a lot more people out there. Hey, it's Joshua Vergara. What's going on, everybody? Let's revisit the Honor 20 for a second. It wasn't too long ago that Honor was one of the best-selling smartphone companies on Amazon with the Honor 6X and other offerings of the like. Since then, Honor was able to continue the momentum with the Honor View 10, the Honor View 20, which introduced some of the tropes that we see in current flagship smartphones. But with all of the Huawei news that's been happening recently, Honor are an unfortunate casualty of all of the craziness happening between the US and China at the moment. And that is a shame because with the latest smartphone line, this is the Honor 20, by the way, not the Honor 20 Pro, uh, the company was able to establish more of an identity, more of their own identity, I should say. After all, there are a few things about this phone that are just a bit different uh, and that separate this phone from many of the other flagship smartphones in its same price range. For example, you get a really good screen to body ratio, almost a full screen experience with that little cutout at the top. This is a feature that Honor actually pioneered with the Honor View 20. And it's something that we're seeing more of in other phones, of course. That tiny little cutout is so small that it's nestled right in the notification area. And underneath that surface is a 32 megapixel selfie shooter that provides some pretty great results, if not totally exceptional results. Moving around the rest of the device, this Icelandic blue does shine really well and it does look really great. Unfortunately, it is very fingerprint prone. You can already see it here. I have a ton of smudges on this thing. And that's what happens when you have a glossy device. What's interesting is that the Honor 20 and the Honor 20 Pro are actually very similar in size. And both of them are a little bit easier to handle at 6.2 inches in their screens. Ergonomics are actually a little bit rare when the flagship smartphones we have right now are actually getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And Honor was trying to buck a few different trends with this particular device. I already mentioned the cutouts, which is a continuing trend of theirs, but then the fingerprint reader that you might expect to be on the rear of this phone is actually embedded in the power button. That's actually a very welcome thing. It's just one of those intuitive features that makes perfect sense. You don't even have to press the button in order to unlock the device. You just rest your thumb on there or whatever finger you have enrolled and you get right into the interface. Uh, but the other thing that kind of ties Huawei and Honor together is also the internals. You still get the Kirin 980 with the Mali GPU. And those specifications can be boosted using Honor's GPU Boost 2.0. The only thing is that the games that I play are not supported by GPU Boost, uh, which is kind of a bummer. Uh, obviously, there is a focus on Fortnite here because there's a Fortnite installer pre-installed on here. And there's one more thing that Honor tried to do that is a little bit radical, and it has to do with the camera package. So you have a four camera array on here and you're seeing some examples from the 48 megapixel Sony IMX sensor, which is already a great sensor. We know this from a bunch of different phones that it appears in. Backing that sensor up is an ultra wide uh, and that allows you to fit more into the frame. Ultra wides are always going to be a favorite of mine. And then you also get a depth sensor that allows for good portrait shots. You get a bunch of different modes inside of the camera app, including a night mode that is fairly aggressive, but it is nice that the night mode is available. And then finally you have a macro mode, but it's actually using a dedicated macro lens. That's this two megapixel sensor right here, literally used to get really close up to subjects in order to maintain detail, even when you're just centimeters away from it. It's kind of fun to use it just to see how close and how much detail you can get out of something. Um, but honestly, I'm not too sure what a macro lens would really do for a casual user. And I think that's something that has to be proven by putting this phone in the hands of casual users. And therein lies the problem that Honor was actually trying to do something kind of different dare I say, kind of fun with the Honor 20 line. And uh, while the rest of the phone is incredibly solid, there's really nothing to complain about when it comes to the daily experience, having those few little details, those few little nuances that kind of change up the experience really gave this phone a lot of character. But unfortunately for Honor, and honestly for Huawei, because they're also a part of this whole problem, uh, this phone is not able to get into the hands of more people so that those features could actually be enjoyed by more users. So where do we stand right now with the 
Honor 20. Well, we're pretty much in the same place as when we first started using this. Uh, Huawei and thus Honor by association are still unable to do a whole lot here in the United States. And obviously the point of this video is to show that that's kind of a shame because of this phone's more affordable price point compared to other flagships. You still get all of the things that are essential to a daily experience with a few little things that allow you to have some extra fun. But let me know what you guys think. Do you have an Honor 20 and Honor 20 Pro? Do you happen to be in markets where those phones are actually available? Uh, if so, uh, let us know what your experience has been like. And then from there, you can drop some likes on this video. Again, have that discussion in the comments sections. And then uh, also subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Look forward to anything that we have coming up on Pocket Now. Obviously, it's going to really ramp up in the coming weeks. So you want to look forward to all of that and subscribe to keep up with all of it. In any case, I'm going to go ahead and call it on this one. Thank you so much for watching this video on the Honor 20, and we will see you in our next video.